And if you are calling in more money, if you are calling in more abundance, affirming that you are worthy and deserving is the easiest way when you romanticize your life. When I started to romanticize my every single day, I really noticed that there was a shift in confidence for myself. So a lot of times we have a negative self concept. It's not safe to shine. It's not safe to be ourselves. It's not safe to put ourselves out there. Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Cotton, your money mindset bestie. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can romanticize your life to elevate and increase your self-concept. So we know that our self-concept kind of controls our reality. If we believe we can, if we believe we can't, that's the reality we will create. And our self-concept is linked with our belief system. So if when we change our self-concept or we romanticize our self-concept, we can add more love and romance and abundance into our life. So I'm going to be sharing my five favorite ways to romanticize your everyday routine. And then I'm going to be doing a fun unboxing of something that I just got in the mail literally right before I hit film on this. It was delivered. So Let's do a little unboxing and talk about how you can romanticize your life. If that's something you wanna see more of, stay tuned to the end to hear all of my tips on how to romanticize your life and elevate your self-concept. Okay, starting off the bat, the first thing you can do to kind of romanticize your life, kind of create that main character energy, is creating the most ideal morning routine. So instead of waking up and grabbing your phone and scrolling on social media, you wake up and you do what you actually want, whether that's personal development, journaling, EFT tapping, but you start the morning, whatever you need to do to hype yourself up to kind of romanticize your life. So some people, you need to go to the gym to kind of feel like you're romanticizing or hyping yourself up. Other people are like, I wanna like look inward, do that personal development. Some of us are like hot girl walks. So really kind of create what kind of morning routine do you want to do to really romanticize and start the day off with that really abundant, loving energy? Let me know in the comment section below, how do you like to start your morning? So for me personally, what I will actually do is I have a red light therapy and I will do my morning meditation slash visualization. I create my own meditations and my meditations are basically a guided visualization of all of my goals. They're guided meditations of all of my goals. And so what I do is I will go in front of the red light, I will meditate, I will visualize, and then I will do kind of some personal development, whether that's some EFT tapping, installing of affirmations, and then I'll eat breakfast and head to the gym. Also, I hydrate. So while we're talking about hydration, let's unbox. Okay, first off, I've never owned a Stanley. I've been a Hydro Flask girly since, I don't know, Hydro Flask became popular in 2017. My sisters are all Stanley girlies, and this collab with Love Shack Fancy came out, and I was like, all right, we're gonna get our first, get our first Stanley. So this one in here is the 20 ounce. And then this one right here is the 40 ounce. So I was most excited about the blue one. So we'll open that last. Okay, I've never owned a Stanley and I asked my sister, I was like, is all of their packaging like this? And she said, no. So let's get her open right away. Okay, this paper is so beautiful. Look how beautiful, oh my gosh. This is like so stunning. She is gorgeous. So as you're thinking about romanticizing your morning, thinking about, okay, we all know that hydration is key, hydration, so why not get a super fancy, super beautiful, romantic thing to drink out of? This one is 20 ounces, so we'll be semi-hydrated compared to the other one. All right, let's get her open. Okay, this box is like really heavy duty, so probably we'll keep that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, guys. Okay, the fact that the water, or the water bottle, it's not really a water bottle, the fact that it comes with its own dust bag, I love designer purses and I love putting them in their dust bag whenever I travel or whenever I'm away. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> so this is like pure romance. This is giving Jane Austen period piece, like let me go frolic in the woods, so gorgeous. And it has its own little bag, how cute and the straw so cute 
All right, let's open the blue one. I am living for this packaging. All right, this is, oh, I love blue. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. I feel so spoiled that this is, like, how gorgeous. My sister said that the other Stanleys are not that fancy, and it's like, yeah. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it came with a blue dust bag. How cute. So we are definitely going to romanticize our morning. OMG, look how beautiful. Okay, it's kind of like raised embossed. So just think about my morning routine with my cute little cuppies. I figured I'd make iced coffee out of this one. And this one is going to be purely hydration. I let me know in the comment section below. But if you've ever put a liquid that's not water, for me it always tastes like it, even if I've washed it. So like one time I had one of my water bottles and I put a, like a margarita in it, and I went to the pool, and then the rest of the time it kind of tasted and smelled like margarita. So this one is for coffee slash pool drinks, and this one is strictly water. But oh my gosh, so gorgeous! The cute little straw with a little bow topper. I'm obsessed. All right, let's keep going with romanticizing. So really creating that morning routine that's gonna make you feel in a line, feel romantic, and just feel blah, blah, boom. The next thing you're gonna do is create a main character energy playlist. So this is a playlist that you can listen to throughout the day, in the morning, really anything that's going to make you feel like the main character. So look up your favorite movies and look up the soundtrack. So like Devil Wears Prada, I love Lord of the Rings where it's like kind of adventure. All of that's gonna really help you get into the headspace of romanticizing your everyday. So when we feel safe to be the center of attention, our self-concept is gonna increase. So it's gonna feel safer to attract more clients, attract more customers, attract more abundance, attract more love. It's just gonna feel such an alignment. So the next thing you can do to kind of romanticize and really just create an environment of an elevated self-concept is things that you can access through your senses. So this would be candles, diffusers. So I've got a candle right there and over here. I actually am obsessed with these. They're waterless diffusers. And so in the bottom, you just put the essential oil. Let me push it out. So you just put the essential oil in here and then you press it through. So it's literally waterless, it's wireless. You hit play, you can time it for an hour, two hour, and it just adds a beautiful scent into the room. So another thing you can do, and let me know if you've ever done this. The first time I did this, I was really nervous and uncomfortable, and then I became obsessed with them. I was like, oh my gosh, more people need to be doing these. But they are solo coffee dates. So basically you go to a coffee shop, you get a coffee, you get a tea, you get a beverage, and you just sit there, whether you're working, you're journaling, you're listening to music, but you're just sitting there by yourself because what you're doing is you're affirming to yourself that you are worth paying attention to. And when you affirm to yourself that you are worthy and deserving of being paid attention to, you're gonna start to shift the belief system in your nervous system, and you're gonna start to shift the belief system in your neural pathways, that it's safe to have attention, it's safe to be giving yourself attention, so going on a solo coffee date. So here are my favorite ways to kind of romanticize your self-concept. So having the ideal morning routine, creating a main character energy playlist, having smells throughout your home of things that are gonna make you feel like taken care of, romance, abundance, love, wealth, you name it. Staying well hydrated with your favorite cuppy because when you have your favorite cuppy, you are just like, that's for me, bought for me, paid for me, loving on me. So here is really fun and I'm just obsessed with these. You saw me open them like, I know they sold out in like two minutes, otherwise I would say you should buy them, but they are gorgeous. And then lastly, taking yourself on a coffee date. So reminding yourself that our self-concept is basically who we are at our core. So a lot of times we have a negative self-concept. It's not safe to shine, it's not safe to be ourselves, it's not safe to put ourselves out there. And with our negative self-concept, we tend to attract more hardship, 
trials and tribulations. And so when we really lean into that romanticizing, elevating and uplifting our self-concept, it's kind of like the trend of the lucky girl syndrome of knowing that luck is always on your side. When you start to romanticize your everyday routine, you're going to start being a magnet for more of that in your life. When I started to romanticize my every single day, I really noticed that there was a shift in confidence for myself. I started to just have a more pep in my step. I felt happier. I was smiling more. People were giving me compliments. People were going out of their way to open doors and just be really helpful and kind. And I really believe when we start to romanticize our life and we start to look inward and say, how can I elevate my own experience? How can I elevate through the small things, right? A water bottle, candles, a diffuser, music, our morning routine, right? Those might seem really small and insignificant to the outside person, but you know that when you start your day, when you start to tend to yourself every single day, you're gonna have a ripple effect. And if you are calling in more money, if you are calling in more abundance, affirming that you are worthy and deserving is the easiest way when you romanticize your life because you're gonna say, of course abundance is coming my way. I am worthy and deserving. Of course love, of course clients, of, cor of course money, of course wealth is coming my way. And that's not because you are selfish or an egotistical or any negative connotation. What you're saying is I love myself enough to pay attention to myself. And when you love yourself enough to pay attention, you're gonna to start to notice when those limiting beliefs pop forward. You're gonna to start to notice when you are still sabotaging, when you're not taking the right action steps to go after your goals and dreams. Changing your self-concept will change your life. And the easiest way to change your self-concept is just to add some romance, romance to yourself. We're not looking for anyone else to give us romance. We're gonna romanticize our own life our everyday routine. I'm telling you, try this for seven days, just romanticizing your morning routine, romanticizing your afternoon, adding a little garnish to your meal, having it feel a little bit more special, dressing up even though you don't have to, doing your hair and makeup in a way that you've never done before romanticizing you is the best gift you can give yourself. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I release videos out every single week and I can't wait to see you in the next video.